Most Americans saw excessive drinking as a simple lack of will. If people wanted to stay sober, the argument went, they would. But in the late 1700s, a noted Philadelphia physician named Benjamin Rush became fascinated with mental illness. Rush saw alcoholism as a disease, not a failure of will. As he put it, the use of strong drink is at first the effect of free agency. From habit, it takes place from necessity. Rush said the only cure was abstinence. His advice to alcoholics was, taste not, handle not. He had no quarrel with beer or wine, but thought excessive indulgence destroyed health. Rush's thinking had little impact in the 1700s, but helped to shape the temperance movements of the 19th and 20th centuries. Thanks to temperance, drinking habits changed dramatically. The average amount of spirits consumed by Americans plunged from about 7 gallons per person in the 1830s to about 3 gallons in 1840 to just under 2 gallons in 1845, the lowest level of the 19th century. For many people in the temperance movement, even that wasn't low enough. They wanted to see total abstinence. To achieve their goal, they began advocating that the government completely ban the production, sale, and distribution of all alcoholic beverages. They finally succeeded in 1919 with the passage of the 18th Amendment. Prohibition, as it was called, lasted until 1933.